Hello, Joel. We've just arrived at Kotoko International Airport, where Kumase Asante Kotoko will be departing to Zambia for their third group calf confederation calf fixture against Inkana FC on Sunday. The 18 man squad named by coach CK Akuno are currently at the airport as they set off to engage Inkana FC on Sunday. A win in this en encounter will probably put Kumase Asante Kotoko either on top or second place, depending on the outcome of the game involving Zesco. United and Al Hilal. We will be speaking to most of the players and the coaches here to find out what they, are, they make of, of that fixture against Inkana FC far away in Zambia. I will be speaking to CK Akuno first. CK, you, you and your boys are just departing Ghana to far away Zambia. You're coming up against an opposition who haven't lost at home in good 43 years. What is the mindset of your team ahead of this fixture? Well, it's important that... Um, if you want to qualify to the next level, then uh, even though you might be winning in your home matches, away matches, you must do something. And that is the mindset we, you know, we have in our minds now. We go in there with the idea to, to get something out of, out of that game. There have been questions around the, fi uh, the fitness of Sinenu. He's not even part of the squad. Could you miss his absence? Well, we, we, our setup is said that uh, now we, we know what we have to do at every given time. And... Uh, Whoever is in his, who plays his position will have to do the same thing. Um, of course, players are not the same. His contribution and the one who will replace him will not be the same, but it will not be a, a big problem for us. Um, let's move on to speak to Felix Annan, who has been outstanding for the Pokemon Warriors in that game against Zesco United. His Point blank save gave Kotoko all the three points they needed to equal the group here. Uh, Felix, you've been one of the outstanding players for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Um, what would you say would be required of you and your teammates to make Ghana proud and the Pokemon faithful proud far away in Zambia? Uh, actually, as you are saying, you know, the, the group is really interesting because everything is squared up. You could see that. Uh, Everybody has won his home game and then has, has lost away game. So you could see that the away games in this competition is going to make the difference. So for us going you know, to Zambia you know, today, we are really determined and we know that we have to get something out of, out of Zambia. You know, but our mindset going there is to get a victory because we know the victory will enhance our chances. But when we come up with a draw, too, it wouldn't be a bad result. But we are not going there you know, to, to lose. We want to get something out of the game. And from there, we are, we are moving on to speak to uh, one of the key midfielders of the current setup of CK Okuno and the person of Kwame Bonsu. Kwame Bonsu, what will be required of you and your teammates to win in Inkana? Of course, hard work. I mean, having that character and staying... Um uh, being mentally me mentally tough, you know, because it's not going to be easy playing against um, their fans and everything. Sometimes it can be some intimidations, but we just have to stay strong mentally and also go in, uh, go all in, and then uh, hopefully I'm sure we we're gonna get the three much one points. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. Hello, Joel. You, you, you heard from the, the coach of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, CK Akuno. You heard from Felix Anand, and you also heard from Kwame Bonsu. All of them are very optimistic, and they require character to make an impact far away in Zambia. A win a in this en encounter will probably put Kumasi Asante Kotoko either on top or second place, depending on the outcome of the game involving Zesco United and Al Hilal.